So I'm going to show you how to do a button. So I've already done an example of a two button. So it's going to work the same way as a four, except obviously you only do it once. So that's an example. And what I've got is my Pentagon, right? My heart's already sewn on and I've decided to use this button. So I went and I got thread that's pretty close to the color. So you want to make sure that you're now, because you're really sewing, using color, unless you're using it as an accent, you want to use the color as close to the item as possible. I've got my thread, right, and my first stitch. So the first thing I'm going to do is just hold the button in place with my finger. I'm going to come up in one of the holes, okay? I've got, do you see, there it is, in one of the holes. Okay, I'm gonna bring it up. I'm gonna go back down on the other hole right here. So I came up in this hole. Hold on, let me use a pencil. I came up in this hole and I'm going down in that one. Up in this one, down in that one. Okay, and then on the back of my fabric, right you can see where I sewed the heart and I'm bringing the thread through and you see the loop it's right there okay and I'm going to take my needle through the loop and do the first stitch so that means it's going to hang okay because I've got it through the first stitch and on the front it looks like this so the thread is right here whoops okay so I'm going to keep going through just, there's different, different ways to do a four-way button. You can do where you're going to stitch this way and this way. You can do a stitch where you're going to do that way and that way. Or you're going to go all the way around like a square, which takes the longest. I don't like that one. <laughs> so... I usually do diagonal. So what you're gonna do is just one diagonal first. So I'm gonna do this one. So all I'm gonna do is after I have my first stitch, and this is a little hard because you can't see what you're doing, right? You're sticking it up from the bottom through the button, right? And then you're gonna see it on the front. And you're gonna just keep doing that, okay? Until it gets thicker and thicker and thicker and it stops moving because it's already in a place where you've got it so thick that it won't move, which makes it a lot easier to sew. So all I'm doing is going up and down, whoops, and up and down. Try to keep your stitches in the same area, you know, so they're not all over the place. I try to get them close to the actual button itself. And the question is, well, how many times do you go through it? Um, there's two ways to explain. The first way is you need to certainly go through it enough where the button doesn't move. Okay, so now I don't have to hold it. I can actually not hold it. And the button is stable. It's not moving. So you have to do it at least that many times. But then you might aesthetically really like it to be clear um, you might want to be using the thread you know what I mean like oh I think it looks pretty when it's thicker and so that's just an aesthetic choice you know you think it looks better with more stitches then put more stitches you want to just do the minimum then you need to make sure that you do it enough that the button stays in place and you don't have to have your hand on it all right I'm just going to do this about a medium number of times Okay, and I'm going to show you what I have. And so there's my button. So you can see it much better now. Okay, and I was doing it really fast, so it was a little messy, but you can take your time. And so now that I've done it this way, then I'm going to do it the cross way. Okay, so then I just go into the other hole right there, right, that doesn't have any thread. And I try to get close right to the button itself and I pull it through and then I go down on the other side where I have it sewn and then again I'm going to repeat 
And so this time, what you're trying to do is go through the buttonhole as many times as you did the other side so that it looks even. And the one thing I do want to mention, as I'm sewing, do you see how my tail is almost gone? Okay, so let me see if I can see my tail is almost gone. Do you see that? There's the button. And then this is all the working space I have. So I need to release, pull, hold my needle back at the eye of the needle, and then look at all that working space, right? Because the tail is all the way up there. So you wanna make sure that you're paying attention to stuff like that, because that's important. So you should always be able to take your needle off um, the thread. Always, always. So, okay, so I'm just about done because I think it looks kind of nice. Let me just do it three more times. And another thing you might want to do is just simply count. You know, if you do, if you go through a buttonhole ten times, especially one this big, you can go through ten times without a problem. Then when you cross to the other side, you do it 10 times and you know it's the same. And that makes it a lot easier. So I think I'm gonna stop, okay? Cause I think that that looks fine, right? And so now what I wanna do is show you on the back. So what I'm gonna do is take my needle. I'm gonna put it underneath where I've sewn and then bring it up on the other side, which is hard. There we go. Underneath where I've sewn the button, right? Okay, so I'm gonna do that. And then I end up, there it is, there's my loop. So then I'm gonna take my needle through my loop twice, one, two, and then I'm gonna pull. So now I have one knot. So I'm gonna do that three times. I'm gonna go through. Again, the underneath, hold on. It's really hard to do that because the button's so flat. Um, there you go, needle underneath where I've sewn. I'm gonna pull that through. There's my loop. And I'm gonna put my needle through my loop. There you go, through the loop. Once, twice, and then pull to have your knot. Okay, and then do that one last time. Okay, put it through where I sewed, pull the needle, you end up with your loop. You're gonna put your needle through the loop once, twice, and then you're gonna pull. Okay, cool. So this is a little long now, and so I'm gonna cut it till about there. Put my um, needle in the pin cushion. Sorry, that's still too long until I have something about that long. Okay, then you're going to split the thread. Remember, because you're sewing with two pieces, so you're going to split the thread and then you're going to tie it like you tie a sneaker three times. So there's one without the bow, and then two, and then three, and now I'm finished. My button is secure. It is not going to come off without something cutting it. I cut above the knot and then the back is finished. This is done and you would turn it in. If you have any questions, please ask. Thank you.